Well, the weather's turned all really horrible and nasty here in uh, Rio. Uh, as you can probably see, really grey, dingy rain. In fact, it's rained ever since Brazil lost. I don't know whether it's some sort of message from the footballing gods. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but um, it's, it's turned into a bit of a miserable place, really. The um, Brazilian fans have um, actually now turned into German supporters um, because obviously Argentina have gone through. And uh, which is the subject of my uh, Brazil uh, today, really, is that um, I went to the game. It's the first game, would you believe, I've been to in this entire World Cup because, of course, we're based in the studio. Um, so that's where uh, we do the games from. Don't actually get to the games themselves. And, and all the games um, in Rio have either coincided with us doing them or, or I'm not being able to get to them because we've got a game straight after. So it didn't quite work out. So I was determined to see at least one game and I picked a bit of a bit of a dog really wasn't it um, it was uh, funny enough four years ago when I went to the World Cup I only managed to see one there as well similar scenario studio in Cape Town uh, a game I got to see was England Algeria uh, which was quite possibly the worst game I've ever seen even worse I think just than uh, Argentina versus uh, Netherlands but the reason this was so disappointing of course is that you know we've, we've had so many great games at this World Cup so much great football and um, so much entertainment and even in, um, even in the poorer games, there's been some real excitement towards the end. But in this one, there's hardly a chance at goal. I think the first shot on target that um, uh, Netherlands had was, was in the 99th minute, um, which is, is saying something. They seemed to, both teams seem to be wanting to play with great caution, great fear of the opponents, and basically just wanted to stop uh, the opposition's best player doing much in the game. It, it was Robin, of course. Uh, for Holland, um, they stopped him, and the same with Messi. Um, one of the big disappointments for me, and, and, and actually quite surprising, you know, obviously when we're watching games on TV, you can't see all the movement of the players. Uh, but I had started to think this season that Messi's not uh, involving himself in the game so much, not moving around um, as much as um, certainly the Messi prior to his injuries earlier in the season. And uh, it was interesting to see him actually in situ in the stadium in, in Sao Paulo cause, and, and keep your eye on him. It was remarkable how static he was. Um, even when on the occasions, I mean, we all know he drops deep. He likes to drop into that little position a little bit deep, uh, a little bit wide. Pick the ball, find a bit of space, pick the ball up, and go at players. Well, when he, when he had a man-to-man -man on him, like De Jong was picking him up a lot of the times, and and, and Martins as well. So it it was it's not easy for him, but I just expected him to make more runs, more movement. Even when on the the occasions they did counter attack down the flanks, he didn't even attempt to get in the penalty area at all, and he never touched the ball once in the box uh, in 120 minutes. So. Yes, we still see the occasional flickers of, of genius, don't we? You just want him to get the ball, but you know, I was surprised how little he did to try and get into space to receive the ball. Um, hope, hoping for better things um, for him in the final. I actually thought at one stage that he, he might have a cold or, or something was wrong. And then I read in the papers that um, a, there was a guy who killed a journalist, an Argentinian journalist, the day before the match here in Rio in a in a car crash uh, and actually Messi was quite close to him and I thought maybe that had some sort of effect but I'm not so sure because he seemed ecstatic at the end of the game and um, so I, I don't think um, that's probably much of an excuse so I'm certainly looking for, for more from Messi in the final um, I think it's going to be really difficult for them against Germany they've somehow stuttered their way through I think they missed Di Maria a lot um, whilst he's not had a brilliant tournament there have still been moments and he does give them a real energy um, he's the one player they've got that seems to be able to run for 90 or 120 minutes, uh, whatever the case may be. The player that impressed me most in the game uh, was Mascherano, who I thought was exceptional. Um, it, what a fighter, what a great heart he's got. And um, without him, I don't think Argentina would have made it through. I was also disappointed with the Dutch, didn't offer much. But it, yeah, not a great game. But the great thing about World Cups, of course, even if you get no goals, no excitement, no nothing, you do get a penalty shootout. Um, I think the final will be a lot better. Um, Germany have, have been hugely impressive. I'll be, I'll, I know I tipped Argentina from the start, but I'll be massively surprised if I get it right.